Good day, guys. Being here um, today, let's quickly uh, have a look at this one. Um, so, how can we create a similar mass and ensure roof panel grid aligns with the wall grids? Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one's wall. Uh, probably not this uh, or this. Yeah. Um, Okay, so the shape. Uh, yes, we can. We can. I think we can create something like this. Um, but the issue can. Issue, but the issue is um, we don't have a lot of control with the grid. Um, if if the actually I'm not sure which which one so it's either this one or this I guess this is quite simple um, so the worst scenario is that we can always you know manually adjust all the all these grids but I think uh, it's probably this one um, yeah we I don't I don't think we have a lot of control um, but let's let's uh, yeah let's try let's try to create uh, this um, shape at least okay so okay so i'll just let's start with a conceptual mass so to create this shape i think uh we can what we can do is so imagine we we cut some uh, um uh, cut uh, do some vertical cut so for example we cut one here right so we cut one here okay so imagine that's that so that's the profiles something like this okay and then we also cut uh, roughly here and then the shape more be something like 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 this <laughs> okay so I can't really see behind what's behind but yeah I, I guess something like this and again so here so we, if we cut another one here so the shape becomes you know something like uh, maybe go something like this right so and then uh, so this we try to connect them okay so let's do it so um okay so first we need a so we need uh something we can place uh, so in this case we uh we can do a reference line for example i'll just uh, draw a line okay here and then we can place a point use draw on face onto this line so now we have this point so let's actually change this one to always show uh, work, show reference plans so okay so now this is it and then we can place a profile so we what we have here so something like this so i just do a rectangular shape so onto this use draw on work plan set work plan pick this work plan and I'm going to just draw something like like this. Okay, so um, yes. And what's next? Okay, so that's up there. So the set. Maybe I'll just move it up a little bit. Okay. So and then we'll copy everything and pick new holes. We have another one here. So this time uh, we need to. Oh, hang. On. So see here. So actually, this uh, not. It's not. Uh, like a 90 degree corner that's more like a curved uh, corner so I guess instead of um, instead of this we might need to use a different method so let's try to use spline instead so let's again so go back reference line so this time use spline same drawn word plan set word plan pick this so I'm going to just roughly so do a, ref, a spline so up here and then I'll just add another one, another control point, and come down and do this. Okay, so and then click again, again go back here. So roughly something like this. I don't need to uh, yeah close that because we just want to see you know what it looks like in the front. So and also we can always uh, looks like we need to adjust these. So you can you can try to you can reduce the distance between these so so uh the control point to make this corner a little bit more you know, like a you know square corner like uh, 90 degree 
and we probably uh, if I would delete this one oh yeah no <laughs> let's just control Z add that back in so we might just need to add some more points so then we'll add one more point here drag it to here so it's very uh, much a, like a 90 degree here so it looks like there's still a little curve here so we can add one more control point to make it you know more like a 90 degree so yeah maybe not that uh, yeah. How do I do? <laughs> oh, I think that should be fine. So it looks like we need to maybe just go move this one, move this one. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. And let's do the same. So uh, a little bit curve. Add, let's add a little bit curve into it. So roughly equal that. So maybe just you know try to match what we have up there. So I think that's uh, that's very good. Okay, so now we have this, and uh, so let's select everything we have here. CC copy, pay, uh, place uh, pick new house. So we place another one. So the second one. So it looks like we need to calm down. Okay, so that's fine. And also, so if this is a horizontal, it need to be yeah. So the whole thing need to be rotate. So let's just rotate this one. I'll just space to. I'll pick a point maybe roughly here. So and rotate it down a little bit, and then. I think uh, uh, we need to add some control point on, you know, on this spline. So let's add control point so we can adjust this. So move it down roughly. So yeah, we need we might need more, right? So click add one more point, one more point here. Um, still need. Uh, let's have a look again. Yeah, come. We need to come. Uh, um, move this down a little bit more. So let's add more control point. Add one more control point. I think that's probably okay. So we can just even drag this down a little bit to create that you know shape. So it's not perfect, but yeah, just uh, to I think that that should be fine. <laughs> uh, not yeah, actually not sure yet. But we can just uh, create a shape and then have a look again. Okay, so now let's leave this uh, there. So now we can copy. So let's copy another one select this point and pick new host and this time I think uh, we need to you know create this shape right so so we can probably keep the uh, angle but uh, we can just sync easily just delete all these control points so it will it will go back to the you know the previous shape so which is this Okay, so now let's have a look. So see if we can create something from these three. So uh, Yeah, so it's quite crazy. I think we probably have too many points uh, there But let's have a look again Yeah, I think that's um, Yeah, it looks like we We probably should have you know matching number so you can see it's it's twit twist it a little bit here so it's not matching this so what we want is we want this one to you know continue to here so have this you know continue so at this 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 edge continue to to here so um, let's uh, how do we fix this so maybe I'll just delete this one for now so let's select so we have all these extra points so you can see we have this extra point um, Maybe we can just add one, two, three, four, five points into here and also here. So let's try that. Okay, so control point. So add one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so and then do the same to here. So one, two, three, four, and five. So let's have a look again. So one, two, three, create a form. <laughs> Doesn't work. Um, uh, yeah, so how can we fix this? Actually, I'm not sure. So sometimes uh, it, if we you know adjust the distance between them, yeah, it works. And then we can just move it back. Uh, it looks like it <laughs> breaks it. Uh, yeah, we just need to do it slowly. Looks like it, it won't, yeah. so. I think 
the issue with this one is we probably still not perfect so I'll see here maybe we should just reduce the um, the control point at the corner okay so let's try that so currently we have too many so maybe we can reduce the number so let's try but still try to keep the shape right so this is fine now this is not so maybe just reduce that those two number two control points so remove delete this one delete this one still okay and delete this one and delete this one okay so one two three again create a form yeah i think it looks better so much better so now let's try to reduce the distance it still works okay so great great uh, although the shape is probably not uh, uh, perfect but uh, i think that, that our, at least we have uh, an outcome <laughs> okay so now let's have a look again so uh, we have quite flat um, so i'll just delete this form for now uh, maybe i'll just move this closer to this and also you can uh, you can actually so currently i just eyeball all these uh, these points right so you can actually type in a number so for example i'll just type in a point uh, point three for example and put this one at point four so and then i can put this one at point five to make sure so the distance are the same so let's tr copy this one and place a uh, pick new host so we can have this uh, at point six right so and uh, what's next so we might need an, another one maybe so we can pick, pick new holes at, and then change the normalized curve parameter to 0 0.7 and then we can yeah so probably have another one here and then pick new host and change this point at point uh, to point 0.8 and maybe have something uh, like this one and place it at point 0.9 so now um, yeah not sure yet so let's see great so yeah okay so it looks like we can create something at least right so it's um, it's not exactly the same and yeah because we don't actually we we might just need another one so on the other side so maybe I'll, I'll delete this one again I have let's have another one here and pick new host so the, this one should be point two and what's uh, on the other side looks like okay come down and might be uh, just mirror mirror the other side so let's have this um, pick new host and uh, it will be point one so let's try uh, select all these again and create form yeah so um yeah actually not too bad so just looking you know from from this side right so the uh, not perfect but uh yeah at least we have something so and it looks like okay so to achieve that this um we might need to also sorry adjust the so like uh oh, can we move this to here oh it looks like a break 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 is it yeah so you, you can still adjust the profiles um you know in the you know this direction uh, let, let's just control z it's not perfect but just uh let's pretend it's okay <laughs> okay so the next um yeah so this is how we can you know roughly uh, achieve the shape um so and if you need so for example i want this one to be oh this is a little bit i want this one to be flatter i mean rot you can you can rotate uh yeah so it looks like we try to pick see you can you can you can do uh, you can adjust each uh, profile if we want to okay so I'll just control Z, go back, and then uh, now the pattern. 
uh, we can't do much to the pattern actually. So if so, for example, if I use divided surface, right? So and then just pump, pump up the number, so you can roughly match that. So you can see this is what uh, actually it's a little bit hard to see here. So maybe I'll just use a rectangle pattern. So it's become a solid. So at least you can see some pattern there. So um, as I said, so here, so you can see all these uh, quite detailed, but yeah, we can't do much. So if I just double this number, yeah, actually I'm not sure which side, which, okay, so this is fine. So yeah, so we can't really control because all this surface, this is one surface from this here all the way down to here. So which means if you set a distance, so it will be uh, always a very similar distance. You can't have, you know, like a very, very uh, narrow pattern here and then wider here. Now we can't uh, really do that. Um, another option is we instead of have this have these profiles as uh, splines, we can just separate them. So just do you know line line line, and then we can c c adjust the pattern um, uh, individually. You can have you know a surface at the top, surface at the bottom, and a surface on the side. But the issue with that method is you they won't. Uh, be matching so like you have this grid here it won't match this uh, and it won't match the the bottom the the grid uh, so on the bottom so I'll just increase this a little bit more and also you can see it's it's it, I don't think it's possible to uh, to create a pattern like this one so you can see actually uh, let me just remove this so see like this type of pattern that uh, you know it's it, it it's always uh, you know it, it can always be like this so if i increase this it will be always um i think that it depend it depends on you know how you create this shape because in this one it's more like a, a sweep it's a sweep from here, this end to this end. So which means one of grid will be like a perpendicular to the direction of the, this path. And uh, the other uh, grid will be, you know, parallel with the, the, the this line. So, yeah, I think this, um, I think this is it. Uh, uh, yeah, not, not perfect, but at least uh, something we can do in Revit. So I guess if you really want to um, have a better better um, outcome, I think you can, you, sh you should probably try uh, some different tools like uh, Rhinos to yeah, because it's easier, uh, not easier, but uh, more. F um, flexible to when you try to create that shape you can just you know create a shape and then you just manip manipulate the shape but in Revit so you need to have a plan <laughs> you need to have a plan like oh I want to create this shape uh, how so you need to have a like a path with you know all the profile and with all these profile and then you can then create this shape. You can't just create, oh, let's say, oh, just create a, like a rectangular and then we try to push here, pull here. No, we can't do that in Revit. Okay, so I think this is it. Um, and uh, if, yeah, if, if you, if you have a like better solution, for this type of model, please let me know. Okay, so, and that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.